everyone and a very warm welcome and this is me Susanna just letting you know I'm still alive and behind me is a South Western Railways class 450 EMU in the South West Trains old liveries class 450 and that's going to take us down to London today so I'm just going to have a trip down to London to see my family and also just to have a little wander around London and um, we're here in Alton so this train will be calling at um, Whatever, where are we going? It's going via Bentley, um, Farnham, um, all the shops, um, Ashvale, doing basically all the stations. Um, Brookwood, um, Woking, West Byfleet, Surbiton, Clapham Junction, and finally London Waterloo. So, this journey will take us approximately about an hour and ten minutes. So, we're just going to make ourselves comfortable and I'll show you. What we, what we get when we get to London Waterloo, what they've done. That's another reason why I want to go to London Waterloo, because I just want to see all the recent work that they've been doing. So hopefully you'll have a good little view of that too. So I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. Uh, hello everyone. We're now inside our Class 450 EMU, so just to sort of show you what it's like inside. We're right at the end of the line here in Alton, in the end of the branch line. So this is the inside of our 450 EMU, and I'm sitting right at the very back. And then right next to us is another 450 that's just pulled in. So we'll, oh, there you go, here you go. I'll let you listen to the announcement. There you go. And apparently we're due to leave at 10.44 and we should be in London at 11.57, I believe. So we'll make our way down to London and I'll catch up with you when we get to London Waterloo. Looks like we're ready to go. Just going to do a brief departure video from here. Just been given the old signal by the guard and the drivers now recognise that. So we're now ready to go. Bye Alton, see you tomorrow. So there you go, we were on the 12 coach 450 EMU and um, it doesn't fit in all the stations but that's okay because I'm going to London Waterloo so I'll be able to get off at the back of the train. I sit deliberately at the back of the train just because I wanted to have a, a view when I get off the train of what the work that they've been doing um, at London Waterloo really as I walk down the platform. So that's why we're sitting at the back today. Anyway, I'll love you and leave you and I'll speak to you soon. Hey everyone again, just um, approaching, well we seem to be um, approaching Farnham Station and um, I just thought I'd sort of bring you back on board the train as we approach Farnham Station um, to show you the Farnham Depot which will be with us shortly, in fact here it is now, so these are the sidings at the Farnham Depot which is where these base trains are based when they're not in use. So we'll just be shortly arriving into Farnham Station. Like I said, this is the depot where they sort of housed them and everything on this particular branch. 
and um, when we get into towards London Waterloo what I do is I sit on the right hand side of the train so we can um, get a good view of the approach into London Waterloo so we just sort of see it there so we'll just stay on board the train as we approach Farnham station and then I'll rejoin you at London Waterloo from the other side of the train so we can get a good view of the recent developments down there Farnham is a station I know well. I used to drive a bus through Farnham town centre a lot. But I like sort of looking around and seeing what's around because it's good when you're doing layouts and things. You can pick up sort of bits and pieces and railway litter and growth and boxes and signals and things like that that you can add to the railway. So it's quite good just to sort of appreciate the scenery around you and see what's what's around. Just approaching into Farnham, but we're right at the very back of the train. So this is Farnham Station, Surrey. So join me as we get towards Waterloo, and we'll see the work at London Waterloo. I'll just pan around. You can just see a 450 just gone by. So see you in a bit. So we're here in Woking, we've got a 159 right next to us, 016, um, that's probably come from Exeter or Yeovil or somewhere like that, um, so hopefully we'll be on the move shortly, we can just sort of have a little look see as we go past it. Um, Woking is a station I know well, because um, I used to live in Woking so I used to alight here all the time. So we're now progressively making our way down towards London Waterloo. Our next stop will only be the next station along, which will be West by Fleet, which is only just down the road. Um, so even if we, oh, the 159 is going just before us. So we'll just see our departure from Woking. It's not the prettiest of sta stations on the Good morning, this is Richard Gardner. Welcome aboard this 1122 South Western Railway service route to London Waterloo. Safety information is displayed in all coaches. If I can ask you to ensure that you keep your I'll just take you to the map. We'll show you where we are. Um, if I can work out where we are. And we are here. This is Alton's where we started. So we've gone through Bentley, Farnham, all the shot. Um, Ashvale, Brookwood, we're now on the main line over at Woking, we're going to be stopping at West Byfleet and then once we get to West Byfleet we'll go, I believe we're stopping at Surbiton as well which is further up the line here and then when we get to Surbiton we stop at Clapham Junction before we finally get to London Waterloo which is right at the top so basically we're trundling all the way down, all the way down this line here and um, when we got to Aldershot, you could have gone to Guildford, which is where that 456 would have gone as a shuttle service. Or you could have, when you got past Ashvale, there's also a branch towards Camberley and all the way through to Ascot. But like I said, we're progressive making our way round. Excuse the old bumpiness, because obviously we're moving along. So we're just going to make our way now to West Byfleet, which is our next station stop. Before heading on to London Waterloo, which is up here. So bye for now. So here we are, we've just, just gone past New Malden Station and um, we're just approaching Wimbledon. Um, we won't be stopping at Wimbledon. Um, our next stop is going to be Clapham Junction, but I thought I'd just pick up the, um, the camera here. Um, 
because as we approach Wimbledon we'll be able to see hopefully some underground S stock and um, we'll also be able to see the um, Wimbledon train care depot um, so we might be able to see some 458s um, or some 455s so this is Rains Park so this is the stop just before um, Wimbledon and then we've got an EWS 66 um, which is in the DB Shanker branding So we'll be, like I said, approaching Wimbledon very shortly and we have just about to overtake a 455, I think it is. Could be wrong. Um, we're now on the fast lines. We got overtaken, we were on the slow lines up until Surbiton and we got overtaken by a, um, a new South Western Railway Class 444. So I'm hoping to catch up with that at London Waterloo and maybe get a good look at it if we're lucky. Um, we'll see um, but like I said we're now approaching Wimbledon and um, it's a really beautiful day to be out on the train so I'm lost on the left hand side of the train the carriage is empty uh, so that's good so I can just talk freely there's been a lot of track maintenance workers on the rails today so I don't know if there's anything going on so we're now going through Wimbledon right now And you've got an S stock just over there. Yep, I was just trying it. There you go. Past us. And here's one coming us now. Come past us. And we'll be passing the Wimbledon train care depot very shortly. So I'm on the left hand side of the train uh, so you can so you guys can see it. So there's the wash. And the London Underground line diverges off to the left, as you can probably see, just through the arches and the pillars. And there's a four, five, eight. Well, there's a few of them down here. train care depot that we've just passed so we're not too far out we're in the London suburbs now so it won't be too long before we get to Clapham Junction but the back of this train won't actually fit onto Clapham Junction station but rejoin me and um, at Clapham and hopefully we'll do a whole journey from Clapham to London Waterloo without any interruptions so speak to you soon So we're here at um, Clapham Junction and the train doesn't completely fit on the platform. Um, I think it's the first eight coaches that fit on the platform. Just over there, just popping into view is a 377 in the Southern Livery. And that's heading towards London, Victoria. Um, we've just been given clearance by the guard and the driver's acknowledged that we can go. So we're going to go. There's a 444 approaching us now in the old Southwest Trains Livery. So hopefully we can capture all this all the way into London Waterloo. There's another 377 down there. So over here we've got a sort of stabling area at Clapham Junction. 444, 450s everywhere. And there's a 700 down there as well. So I haven't seen one of those before. There's lots to see here. So on this side, we've got Southwest trains. If you pop to the other side, which I'll just take you around. It's all Southern on this side. And that's because the lines on the right go to London, Victoria. And we have another Southwest trains. Don't know where to look, really. But we'll stay on this side because it's the side that we want to see as we approach London Waterloo. We're currently in a race with another 450, which is over there. 
and that particular one has come from Hounslow or Staines around that part of the world. It's come via Richmond as you can tell by the blind before we were rudely interrupted by another 450. Meanwhile on this side we have a 377 approaching us. And there's another one there. Now for those of you unfamiliar with London, um, where this 377 is coming from, bearing on the right, those lines will go up towards the um, will go up towards Battersea Park and London Victoria, and they will cross over us on the main line down here, um, and they'll basically cross over the lines to head to Victoria, whilst we go straight on to Battersea Queenstown Road, I think it is, Vauxhall, and London Waterloo, but we'll only be stopping at London Waterloo. As you can see, there's the Gerda Bridge over there, where the um, lines that go off to Victoria will cross us over. As it is now, which is just crossing over now. So we're not too far. Um, we are a bit late because it does say it did say we were supposed to be due in at 11:57. It's currently 11:55, so it'll be a few minutes late. But I'm enjoying the journey, so that's not too bad. Which is quite looking forward to seeing what we're going to see. I don't really know what we're going to see. I mean, obviously they've done a lot of work at London Waterloo. So it'll be interesting to see. It's the first time I'll be going into London Waterloo since they've done the upgrade work. So this is New Covent Garden Market on the right. Fifty. Normally I'd get off at Clapham Junction and change at Clapham Junction um, to visit my family but I decided <clears throat> that I wanted to make a bit of a day of it as well and enjoy myself a little bit, take my mind off life for a bit and come into Waterloo, see the work that's been going on here. So now approaching Vauxhall. I don't know if you can quite see the front of the train, you can sort of see it in the distance as we make this right hand curve so right at the back so it looks like we've got a caution a single yellow Beautiful day to be out on the train today. The other four fifty is just overtaking us. We've been interrupted again by another four fifty. Oh, the other one's still here. It's all like a race, you don't even know where to look. This is a 458 actually. Um, they look slightly different. You saw them at the um, on the Wimbledon shot. Hopefully we'll get a closer view of them. Ladies and gentlemen, as you just heard, we shall shortly be arriving into London Waterloo, our final destination. So let's get back onto this please side. Please take a moment to ensure you have all your first licence with you and also please do take care when leaving the train. Well, on behalf of myself and Neil Walkthrough, we'd like to thank you for traveling. Let's just have, have a quick check, quickly fold this morning and wish you a pleasant home with you. So that's the 458. 
So I'm just going to go back over this side to see the work and the extension that they've been working on. Still loads of work here. Lots of work and lots of workmen and lots of tools. Here we are about to round the curve. It's a 444 coming towards us. Just to ruin the shot, it's a five car unit, so hopefully it'll be out of the way in a minute. So there's a 159 that beat us to us, beat us to it earlier from Woking. So we've caught up with that. And this is the new area that they've been working on. Looks nice. Does look modern. So here we are, London Waterloo. Yeah, it's nice, I like it. And here we are. Right, look at what I've just spotted. A new colour scheme. It's the first one to be repainted. So we'll just take a nice little on the down the platform. Looks lovely. I like it. So this is the new Southwestern livery. I'm just going to take a photograph whilst I'm here. Yeah, I really do like it. I mean, the inside's exactly the same by the looks of things. I think the insides are exactly the same. They haven't really upgraded the insides from what I can tell. I don't know if they've put the new signage and everything inside it. But yeah, it looks great. Yeah, that was a worthwhile, worthwhile trip. It looks like it's hooked up to a 450 as well. So yeah, I hope you've um, liked what you've seen. And um, thank you for joining me and watching this video. Like I said, I mean, life's a bit difficult at the moment. This is my 450 that I came on. I try and capture a photograph for a screenshot for the front. For the intro. Um, yeah, thank you for travelling with me. And um, I hope you like the video. And hopefully at some point in the future I'll have a new layout built. Barringer itself is completely gone and dismantled. So I'm just here today, just sort of like catching up with family, trying to take my mind off life and just having a nice day out on the trains. So once again, thanks for joining me and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.
evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's your guard speaking. Welcome to the Southwestern Railway Service to Alton, calling at Brookwood, Ashvale, Aldershot, Farnham, Bentley, and Alton. Arriving to Alton at approximately 11.10. Safety information is displayed on coaches. Please keep all bags and points with you. If you see suspicious bags or behaviour, please report it to the member of staff. First class accommodation is also available. It's labelled on the walls and windows and located in coach 3. You must have a first class ticket to travel in first class. My name is Nick, I'm a guard and current position in the third coach of this four coach train, so if you do need any assistance or any tickets, please come see me. I will walk through after Brookwood. is now approaching its final stop. This is Alton. Change here for Midhands Railway. Please remember to take all your personal items with you when you leave the train. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform edge. Alton, our final stop. When you load from the service, please ensure you take all bags and belongings with you and carry them with you at all times. And if you see any suspicious bags or behaviour, please pause it to nearest member of staff. Let's thank you for travelling with Southwestern Row and hope you have had a very pleasant journey. Here we are at Alton Station, I've just arrived on my return trip to London and behind me is 450119 which was the EMU that brought me back from London Waterloo. So thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the clips and I will speak to you soon, so bye for now.